Whoa, I'm in darkness here, but I'm about to go live. There we go. Girl got a new ring light and thing. Yes, I prefer that warm lighting. Let me see if I can go even a little warmer. There we go. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Blue Blouse channel. Now, in today's video, we are going to have the Hair Inspector Awards. I know I haven't been around in a while. Due to how long I've been missing, I almost wore a black blouse to this live stream today. I've been busy, 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 but guess what? I gotta make the time for YouTube. So I decided to go live today and we are going to have the Hair Inspector Awards. So now, what that is, is just simply me critiquing some of the hair products that I got the last time in the shopping hall, plus a few extras. So, oh, hi, Shaping Way, Sam. How are you this evening? I hope you eat your Sunday dinner. <laughs> I hope you eat your Sunday dinner. Guys, I'm so excited because guess what? I got a ring light. I want to show you how dark in here is, you wouldn't believe. Look at that. That is how dark in here is. So let me turn on the light. So I got white light. I got somewhat warm. And I got even warmer. But my favorite setting is the warm setting. And you won't you wouldn't believe that I paid like I think it was what 6,800. So that's about roughly 50 US dollars for a ring light. It's 14 inches, and I'm looking at it right now. If you look at the reflection of my glasses, you can see it. It's a light up your beauty 14 inch RGB ring light. So we're working on some improvements, right? And I'll be back full time next week. Guess what? I had to take a little bit of a step back. Oh, you're fine. Good. I am well as well because I got a new ring light. That's why I'm happy. That's why I'm well because I've got a new ring light. I don't eat. I don't eat uh, my Sunday dinner yet. <laughs> so the worms are rumbling, but I'm still here. So I was telling you that, that I got a new ring light. If you look on the, the reflection of my glasses, you can see the ring light in the background right here. So you're asking me if it comes with a stand? Yes, it does. My ring light comes with a stand. Um, the only drawback uh, with the ring light that I have is that it has a usb tip so let me plug it out and show you so this is the usb tip that it comes with so right now i have it plugged in i forgot that you can't see me without the ring light so right now i have my ring ring light plugged into my multi power station this is by atomi so you can see all these ports i have like six ports on this thing um, in case I want to charge multiple phones and stuff. That's the only drawback is that it doesn't come with the regular two-prong plug-in. But, I mean, getting an adapter is an easy one-two thing. So it comes with a stand and um, it comes with multiple colors. Even though you see me having the settings, um, the white light, the warm light, and the warmer light, it comes with multiple modes too. So look at this one. Um, you can see me under, I don't know if you can see the reflection of my glasses, but it's changing colors. That seems to be a, a new trend in ring lights these days. You see the, the reflection on my glasses? If I had a phone, then I would turn it around and show you. But basically it comes with multi colors. Not that I'm gonna have use for the multiple colors, but... Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's a fun ring light to have. If you don't like to, to sleep in the darkness, it's a fun ring light to have. I guess the, the RB, RGB branding on it um, tells you that it has red, green, and blue. But basically, it's a, it's a ring light and it's a party light, if you ask me. But now that I've got the ring lights out the way... Oh, you can see it. Oh, you can see the multicolors. That's good. That's good. So now that I got the ring light out the way, I am going to start the Hair Inspector Awards and I'm your host, Blue Blouse. So basically, what I am going to do is rate some hair products that I got the last time out of 
40. So, you know, when you work, when you work, um, when you work in multiples of 10 and quarters, it, the square just works out better. So I have my handy dandy clipboard here. And my handy dandy clipboard here with my different categories. So each category is marked out of 10. You have four categories. So the first one is going to be packaging that has everything to do with visuals. The second one is going to be presentation. So when I say presentation, I mean persuasiveness. You know, like you have some products with pretty packaging, but when you read the when you read the back of the, the packaging for the use of the product, they don't really catch you. They look pretty, but they don't catch you with the use of words. And then you have smell. So who doesn't want to have hair that smells awesome when they go out? So it's not like um, castor oil where, you know, it not smells so wonderful. Castor oil doesn't really have that great of a scent but you're willing to have um, relatively not so good smelling here for the benefits of castor oil because you know that it's going to work, right? And then you have usefulness. You have some products, they neither add nor take away to the, um, to the productivity of your hair. They neither add or take away from the growth of your hair. They're just there. You have some products like that. But... I have my green goodie bag here. I have a bunch of products in here and I am going to rate them for you. And I have a few tools in here as well. All right. I, let's see what we have. Oh, and it in, includes tools, products, and actual here. Actually have this. All right, so the first thing in the goodie bag and the awards, we have this. You may not recognize this in this form, but I'm going to tell you what this is. This is the sensational bun with bangs that I bought when I just started the channel. I think it's my first official video. This is my first official online video. So let's grade the sensational bun with bangs. All right. So for packaging, I don't have the packaging with me but it came in a standard box with the um with the hair net and everything this is here so i'm gonna give it an eight out of ten there was no nothing special about the packaging about this here all right so let me write that down bond with bangs the packaging for this from what i can remember was an eight out of ten Nothing special about it. It just came with the regular protection and so. All right. So presentation now in terms of persuasiveness. Did they have, did they use any special words to convince me? Um, no, not really because it's here. So you can actually see the pictures on it. So that's why I gave it an eight out of 10. They had a, a model showing the different ways that you could wear this. So that's why I gave them, gave them an eight. Bun with bangs is a simple term. So you, you kind of get what it's for. So I am going to give them a seven out of 10. They didn't have to do any persuasion there. So um, I'll give them a seven right there. Then the next thing, this, the smell of this thing. I mean, it smells like any other plastic synthetic here. So they are going to get a six from me. There was no berries or no pineapple or no strawberry um, right there. And then the usefulness now. The usefulness, I wear this at least three times for the week or more. So they get a 10 right there. Sensational, you actually get a 10 for the usefulness of the product. All right. So the reason why I say you might not recognize this is because it came born with bangs. So what I did was I, I what, what's this again? I rubber banded the bang and I literally tucked it under. I mean, I could have cut off the bangs, but I didn't. I give them a 10, even though I don't use the bang part, even though I don't use the bang part more, more than so. 
I still use the bun, so they get a 10, and it was beautiful. I got so many compliments on this, and um, let me get that angle right. I got so many compliments on this, and the time when I actually got the compliments was when I actually stuck the bang part underneath here. So this was me all week last week. One ponytail and the bun on top of my head like that. So you can imagine how beautiful I was. So they get an overall score of eight plus seven. Let me get that calculator and <laughs> I don't have foolishness on the internet. All right, so eight plus seven. Eight plus, oh my gosh, my calculator is giving me a hard time. So eight plus seven plus six plus 10 gives us an inspectorate of 31. So 31 is not a bad score for our band with bangs. Let me get to one more exciting product now. All right, this will not be uh, an Inspector Awards without Cantu, right? It would not be an Inspector Awards without Cantu. Cantu is one of the most popular products that you can ever find out there, right? So the first category is packaging. Is there anything special about this packaging? I mean, the color is nice and bright. You would see this easily on a shelf. Um, a lot of brands are going with nude colors like brown and white and maybe even black. I used to see a lot of green around, but um, the companies are going more neutral now. Those brown, earthy tones, I don't know what that is about. But if I'm looking for hair products and I see this bright orange color, I'm going to pick this up. So for visuals, for packaging, they get a 9 out of 10 for me. It's um, very clear writing, very bright packaging, and this is going to stand out among all those neutral-looking um, hair product lines. So I am going to give them a 9 for that. I'm going to give them a 9 for that. Presentation, no. It says Cantu, shea butter for natural hair. Coconut curling cream defines, moisturizes, and strengthens strands. Would I pick this up with that word, with those words? Yes, I would, because they have, they have keywords like natural, and they have coconut, and they have cream. Skip the curling, go straight to cream. They're going to convince me with that, and they have defines moisturizes, strengthens. Now that is what you're looking for in a hair product. So with the persuasiveness, I also give them a nine out of 10. So they get a nine out of 10 for a presentation. Now let's open this product and smell it. Does it smell like coconut? Not really. Let me tell you what it smells like. It smells more like a pina colada than a coconut. In other words, it smell like, smells like pineapple and coconut, coconut mixed together rather than plain coconut. For a smell, if you, if you have chronic sinusitis, I could see this getting on your nerves. So for smell, I'm going to give them an eight. It's not, a overbearing, it's not an overbearing scent, but at the same time, it's not that subtle either. So I'm going to go ahead and give them an eight. Now, in the usefulness of this product, you can see it's white inside. Well, the bottle is white and the hair product is white. Usefulness when it comes to this product, no. Um, it says curling cream. I have kinks, so that is not going to do anything for me. So I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10, just because I know that anything with a curling thingy is not going to work for my hair. I'm going to give them 6 out of 10, just because I knew right off the bat 
that it was not going to work with my hair texture. Just based on the creaminess of this, if it was more jelly-like, I could say, all right, this is going to work for my hair, but it's creamy. Creamy products um, that are aimed at curling, more than likely, they are not going to work with um, 4C here or even 4B. They might work on 4A here, but usually something like this, mm -mm. this is going to be more of a moisturizer than a curling cream. The reason I gave them six is because it's in that curling and not moisturizing. But this, this is not going to curl my hair. Just by looking at it, as a matter of fact, I tried it already. They get a six for that. So let's add up the score. By the way, have you ever used any of those two products that I showed you so far? The first one that I showed you was the Bun with Bangs, and the other one is the um, Cantu. Have you ever used any product from Cantu? Let me know. And also, what is your favorite product? And tell me your grading. Remember, we are grading for presentation, packaging, smell, and usefulness. So name one hair product that you've ever used and let me know what you get from it. All right, so the overall score that we have for the Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair Coconut Curling Cream is a whopping 32 out of 40. 32 out of 40. That's not bad. That's like 75%. You know what I'm saying? All right. Next in this goodie bag, we have Ashanti Naturals Yellow Shea Butter. Creamy. All right. Right out the bus, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grade this for you. So the product is plain shea butter. I'm going to be a little bit more partial to this because, you know, shea butter is a natural product and we, we all know what it's aimed at. So it's not like they created this as a new product. They just pretty much took, took it from nature and packaged it. But let us see what this gets for packaging. I mean, this is a basic tub. The, the, the plastic is flimsy and... I don't know. Because it's a natural product, uh, it's it has a brown earthy tone. It has a brown earth tone um, label. Just because it's a natural product, they I think they use brown just because of that. I'm a bit stuffy. But like, we're going to get through this hours, okay? So, packaging. This is the most basic packaging I've ever seen. So I'm going to give this 6 out of 10 just because they could have did better with the packaging. This is the most basic pack packaging for a hair product that I've ever seen. All right. So I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10. Presentation-wise now, um, they took a less is more approach. So because the packaging is minimal, I see exactly what is in there. Do you see that Kentu product? <laughs> I still have it on my hand. Let me rub it in my hair. All right. Packaging, minimal. I can see straight through what is inside. And it's easy to open, small and cute. Wow, I even mixed up my own categories. I forgot that presentation is words. Ashanti Naturals 100% natural yellow shea butter, creamy. That's all they needed to convince me. Ashanti is synonymous with the continent of Africa, specifically Ghana. So they didn't need much, much there. So I'll give them a 10 for presentation or persuasion. The next thing, smell. This smells literally this... Thank you, Castle Ham. Thank you, Castle Ham. I'm happy that you're here. Welcome to the Hair Inspector Awards. So, um, if you if you're just joining us, basically, I'm critiquing hair products in four categories. They are packaging, presentation, smell, and usefulness. Um, we reviewed the bun with bangs already. That got a combined score of thirty-one. 
And we just did the Cantu Shea Butter Curling Cream, which got a combined score of 32. And now we're on to the Ashanti Naturals, which got a 6 out of 10 for visuals. They got 10 for words because they kept, kept it simple. And now we're on to smell. So as I was saying before, this literally just smells like it came out of the earth. And because it's a natural product, I'm not going to be too hard. I mean, I would have loved if it smelled tropical, but it's shea butter. You know that anything that is going to be coming from seeds is not going to have a pleasant smell. So for smell, I'm going to give them an 8. This is just, this is just me judging shea butter overall usefulness 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 <laughs> there is no there is no question with that 10 out of 10 for usefulness and now i am going to add these scores together so we have 16 plus 10 plus 8 all right, so it has a combined score of 34. This is the this is the highest contender so far. All right, here's my goodie bag. Let me see what's in there. Mm. Woo! This wasn't in my last shopping haul, but this is the 50%. Well. This is the Hair Passion Shining Aloe Vera Polisher. All right. Looking at this, the packaging, I give it a 6 out of 10 because I could have done more. This is the Ocanto Leaves Granulated Residue in my hair. Not great for twists or locks. Not my favorite. Oh, you don't like it? Oh, I understand. Thank you, Shaping Waysome. Thank you, thank you. Well, yes, it does. Kanto tends to do that sometimes, especially when it's mixed with other products. Um, usually when I use the Kanto, whether it's the moisturizer or the curling cream, I usually try and I usually um try my best not to mix it with anything else because sometimes it can leave white balls or because it's so because it's so moisturizing, it tends to build up. And yes. Moisturizer in general is usually hackling to locks. Anything Shea usually smells good? Smell is a, yes, smell is a big deal breaker because one thing I noticed with natural hair, it holds every scent, especially if you use castor oil, the um, Jamaican, black Jamaican castor oil, if, especially if you use the one that is burned really, really dark, if the roasted the beans dark and the boiled those beans, the darker one ha tends to have a burnt smell. And trust me, no amount of peppermint oil can get rid of that scent. <laughs> that is so true, um, Castle Ham. But back to the um, the hair passion shining aloe vera. So I'm going to put polisher with this because this name is so long. All right, so for the polisher, right out the bat, for the visuals, I give this um, 7 out of 10. Because it's simple packaging and you can see right through it. I like when I can see products. But as for like the writing, the green and the yellow, I just looking at this, I wouldn't pick this up and read it. I would pick this up just because I can see right through the bottle. It kind of looks like baby oil. So just by looking at it alone, I can tell that it's oil. But as it relates to the presentation in terms of them trying to convince me of what the product can do, 6 out of 10. Six out of ten because the only thing that really appeals here is shining, not even the word polisher. I wouldn't want polishing in my hair if it says shining or lustrous or something like that. Yeah, I would do that. Smell now, smell wise, smell wise. This thing is awesome, smell wise. This is one of those products where it's not overbearing. It's not too subtle. It's right in between. It's like a hybrid of baby oil. And you know that baby oil smells good. And but as it relates to the aloe vera, I don't, this this doesn't smell like aloe vera. I have aloe vera in my backyard, and this don't smell like aloe vera, okay? But smell 
10 out of 10. No doubt about that. Um, Shaping Waysom says, I just want no residue when using a product. That's right. No residue when using, using a product because when the residue builds up in your hair, you tend to want to wash your hair earlier than you're supposed to. Like right now, I have so much buildup in my hair from um, edge control and it hasn't been a week yet since my hair has been washed. And I'm not going to wash it until the week come, all right? So, what my pen gun? Usefulness. This, I'm going to give this pen for usefulness just because a little goes a long way. Let me show you what it looks like when it comes out. Boom. You see that? That's one drop. You see, when you use this much, much especially when you're having straight hair, uh, when you're having sewings, using a hair polisher like this, the shine, it goes a long way. Yes, shaping way some. It does smell like baby powder. Yes, it, it really does. But a better version of baby powder. So it has a combined score of 10 and 10, 20. And 6 and 7 give you 13. So right away, that's 33. I didn't have to use my calculator for that one. So this is... 33 out of 40. Hmm. Seems like nobody has scored below 30 as yet. All right. Next up, we have Motion's CPR. All right. So Motion's CPR. Packaging, which is the visuals. Right away. I am conflicted with the packaging of this thing. Do you know that most of Motion's product in any tub looks exactly like this? I almost picked up a relaxer because the relaxer has the same packaging. I won't even say similar. The relaxer literally has the same packaging. Like I almost bought relaxer instead of the CPR. This was actually, I actually told the story in my last um, shopping haul. This was actually over the section with the hair relaxers. And I almost picked up a hair relaxers um, thinking it was CPR because usually sometimes you don't spend time to read the packaging. You just pick up and you go. And sometimes when you go home, you realize that, um, hey, I picked up the wrong product. But that aside, let's grade it by itself. All right, so visuals. This is a bright color. And the top is purple. Um, I'm giving this uh, six. The reason is because you have color blocking going on here. Yellow and then you have purple. I don't want to see color blocking on my hair products. You just like how you see the can too here and it's all orange and bright and you can't see it. The, the purple just bring down the yellow. I don't know why. I give it 6 out of 10. All right. So presentation, it says, Motion's CPR. Critical protection and repair. Treat and revive. Treatment conditioner with shea butter, coconut oil, and vitamin E. Professional motions. If you hear that, it's an automatic thing. Listen to me. CPR is synonymous with um, bring a, bringing a person back to life. So if you think about cardiopulmonary resuscitation, which is basically chest compressions and using a defibrillator and maybe giving two breaths, however the BLS people them do it. If you think about CPR, bringing back, bringing back a person to life, this CPR should be bringing back your hair to life. So automatically, they get 10 for presentation. All right. Let me open this and remind myself of the smell now. Ooh. All right. This is the most basic smelling product, hair product that I've ever smelled. You can tell that they really use some chemicals that... um. 
are useful and then then they just put something over it to mask the smell that is exactly how they smell you can tell that it was supposed to smell awful but they found hi it's gaming with kaylin hi how are you i hope you're doing fine so i'm saying you can tell that the ingredients that they use in this was meant to smell awful and then they just you know put something in there to mask the scent so because i can tell that 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 is what happened i'm gonna give them a seven out of ten it doesn't smell awful but it doesn't smell the best either and because i know that it's not gonna stain my hair i'm gonna wash it out and it and when and when i use it it didn't leave a terrible smell i still give it a seven out of ten usefulness now this is aimed at um deep conditioning the hair and strengthening the hair trust me you see if you have like a protein deficiency in your hair that soft brittle hair oh shaping way some is great greeting kaylin so if you have that that noodly squishy hair that keeps stretching 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 until it finally break this is the product to use trust me on that one when i say it's a good product so because i've experienced it before I'm going to give it 10. All right. Not the best smelling product, not the best packaging, but it's useful. All right. So the C motion CPR gets a combined score of 33. My brain seems to be working all of a sudden. My calculator hasn't come back yet. All right. Now we are going to rate an edge control. Don't know if you can see this. Mm, all right, that's about it. We are gonna rate an edge control at this time. This is the Fashion Plus 03 Professional Usage Perfect Hairstyle Wax and Wax Matte Look. Do you see how many words I had to read? And all of, none of them don't make no sense. All right, so for visuals, this is visually appealing right this is visually appealing i mean it's clear it's flat it's beautiful i'll i'll give them a 10 for visuals all right as for the presentation no when i was reading the packaging a while ago i had to read so many words and they don't have a background they don't have a theme nothing about these words tie in together so i can tell it's not an english speaking country that made this product because there are so many words on here i am confused as to even what the brand is as a fashion plus as a zero three as a professional usage perfect hairstyle wax and wax matte look and I see a brand, uh, um, a logo here. I don't know what the brand is. I am confused because it has so many words on it. So because of that, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. Because nothing on this packaging ties in. You say all edge controls get a failing grade from you. Um, yes. All edge controls get a failing grade from me as well because they usually last for five minutes and then my uh, my edges just roll away. But I have found with this one, it can hold my hair up to maybe 45 minutes. It will curl up a little here. It will curl up a little around the edges, like, like the immediate edges that, that I know is going to curl up it will curl up a little here but it doesn't get all the way freezing like the others and i actually bought another one similar to this the same brand but that grade on it is six i haven't opened it as yet um i'm gonna do a review on this and i'm going to do a first impressions on the white one the white one in this brand is um grade six so since this is three and the, the, the white one in the packaging is six, I am guessing that it's supposed to be twice as strong as this one. 
And this one isn't all that bad. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't hold up my edges, but it at least stops it from freezing up to an extent. So I've I've had some amount of use, usage out of this. Some days it works, some days it doesn't work. But oh Hams um Cass, Castle Ham says not attend for me with the yellow and blue jar. Coconut is nourishing, but in here it doesn't last long. After two, two days, especially in tropical weather, here smells sweaty and dirty already. Just my bias. That is so true, especially if you use the um the raw raw virgin coconut oil and you have cornrows in your head. I mean, if your hair is loose, it's not so bad. But if you have cornrows, you have to be careful how you use coconut oil because um, in my experience, it can go rancid real fast, especially in Jamaica with the humidity, like Castleham said. And also, it can tend to leave that stripping feeling if you don't put anything else on your hair. If you just use the raw coconut oil, it can, I don't know. In my experience, it, it leaves a stripping feeling if you don't put any other oils over it for the whole week. Yeah. So... Where was I with this one? I was saying I'm going to do a review on this and the, and the other one because, I don't know, the, this one is a hit or miss. Um, I have type 4C here in particular, and the extreme back of my hair is B. So the B part of my hair is more likely to work with this. But as for the C part, it keeps down frizz, but it doesn't... Um, Slay the edges according to you, YouTube terminology. So, um, for usefulness, they get a six out of ten for me. And for smell, let me see if I remember how this smell. Um, this smell like this smell like Irish spring soap. This smell like a really really expensive bath soap. So I'm gonna give that an eight. So. Let me give you the combined score. By the way, I'm using my banger today, courtesy of Alcatel One Touch. This is my calculator today. I know some people don't see um, a phone like this in a long time. So we're going to have 15 plus 8 times 6 make 14. I should have calculated this long time in my brain, you know. 29. This has a low score. And I, I expected that because it's an edge control being used in the tropics. <laughs> so this, this is not going to stand up none at all. Um, and also, why I gave the usefulness a 6 to is because sometimes you can, like if you don't tie this down properly, you can actually see the residue from this. But we'll get to that in the review. All right, we have a few more products to go. Believe it or not, I have a pack of hair pins. <laughs> I don't know why I have ear pins here. All right. The packaging for the ear pins. Um, give it a five. There was nothing special about this. Presentation, it just said ear pins when I, when I had the package. So that's another five. Smell, it doesn't have a scent. So that's an automatic ten. <laughs> Usefulness, I use these every single day. The hairpins are what I use to um to what you call it attach the bun with bands. So they get a 10 there. So 5, 5, 10, and 10 give you 30. I don't know why I have a random pack of hairpins, but you know, they are used in here. All right. Castle Ham. I have a popular brand that is used in Jamaica with locks. That is the um the Rasta Lock and Twist Jamaican Mango and Lime. Mango and Lime has a very good product line for locks because it smells awesome. It moisturizes the hair, keeps the locks from breaking, and the products that they have for locks don't usually use a residue. However, I went in Fontana the other day and I realized that they had um a deep conditioner or a hair mask, a moisture hair mask. 
and I decided to um to pick it up because it was one thousand three hundred and ninety dollars plus tax. So basically, that's about ten US dollars. Um, what I noticed in Jamaica is any product that has to do with deep conditioning, they tend to want to charge an arm and a leg. And this girl right here, so not spend more than fifteen hundred dollar on a deep conditioning tub like this. Me not see why me fair spend more money than the rest of the world to keep my hair healthy, right? So because this was thirteen hundred and something plus tax, I picked this up. Um, if you want to go for a more expensive brand like say um, Shea Moisture. I mean, I kid you not, Shea Moisture products are like in the 3,000 bracket. Why should I spend $3,000 on a deep conditioner when I'm going to use it like two times? I'd rather have this. I'd rather spend that same $3,000 on a $1,500 product that I can get four uses out of. I remember, it's not every week that I deep condition my hair. So I have no problems um, spending this. And deep conditioners tend to be a hit or a miss. So I don't think I want to spend $3,000 on a deep conditioner trying to see whether or not it works. I mean, I could have watched 10,000 reviews and then when it reached to my hair, it just don't work, right? Um, a lot of people give positive reviews about Shea Moisture, but Milo, Milo willing to spend three grand um, I find out whether or not it's going to work. I rather waste me $1,500 and buy something like this and see if it works. Because if I'm going to take up a hair journey, it's going to be it's going to be for the long term. So I want sustenance. So I'm not going to have my itty bitty salary and take up three grand every month to me go and buy a deep conditioner. So if for my international audience who is watching, basically what I said is that this is one of the most um this is one of the more inexpensive products um to get and other major brands like shea moisture and carl's daughter they tend to be expensive in jamaica because you know youtube carry the swing when it comes to um hair products i don't know why i stuff it today but on to the grading so right here this pure naturals what pure naturals coconut milk and honey moisture mask coconut milk and honey combined to provide the ultimate strength and the ultimate moisture and strength for all natural hair types and textures so right out the bat all right i'm just gonna name this milk and honey right out the bat packaging 10 Reason being, they kept it simple. The product inside is white, and you can see what is in there. So, 10 out of 10. All right. For the presentation now, um, they could have just kept it at coconut, milk, and honey, or had the milk and honey in bold. This is, I don't know if you can see. Let me, yeah. I don't know if you can see this, but it's a whole heap of writing. If I am trying to shop, especially in Fontana, I tend to get a lot of hair products in Fontana. If I am trying to shop in Fontana, I'm not going to be reading all of this. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm not going to read all of that in Fontana when I have like 500 deep conditioners. So for persuasiveness, they get six from me. As for smell now. All right. Let me tell you what this smell like. You see that rancid scent that um, Castle Ham was talking about? Um, it kind of it kinda goes towards that side. That's the background scent, not the main scent. The background scent kind of, it kind of gives you the, the steel coconut scent, ne? but more like um, clay. I don't know if you know what... Um, wet dirt smell like it ever smell like when when the rain falls and then when the when the dirt when the rain hits the dirt and that scent that you get when the sun is just hot and the rain falls that that scent that rises up it kind of it 
kind of have that background scent there. kind of smell earthy. And then they put, then they put a little dash of um, tropical coconut. So it smells like two type of coconut. It smells like dirt and it smells like coconut. Let me see what they smell like. You know what the old, the old, the old time lipstick smell like? Old time lipstick? It has that background clay putty smell. Like it smell like putty. The background smell like putty. That is what I'm trying to get at. The background smell like putty with a little dash of coconut. Mm, I'm getting that putty smell. Putty, putty. Play-doh. The background smell like Play-doh with a dash of coconut on it. Mm -hmm. So for smell, I'm going to give it a seven. It's not overbearing and I use this already. And when it was washed out of my hair, it didn't smell bad. As for usefulness now, that is another story. The usefulness of this product right here. Um, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Just because my hair in particular doesn't respond the first time to a lot of products. A lot of times when I find success with a product is usually up on the second or the third use. So because it's only one time I use this, I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10 just because it's a first impression grade. All right. So 7 and 7, 14. 14 and 16 give you what? A 30? So this gets a 30. This gets a 30 from me. All right. So... I have a few more products to go. I have two products in this bag, so we're almost done. We're 45, 45 to 46 minutes in. Can you imagine? I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 products here, and it took me <laughs> almost an hour to give them a grade. <laughs> All right, so we have this right here. This is a pintail comb. This is a rat tail with a metal tip. So I bought this product um, just because I know that it's good with parting. So the comb, um, the packaging, this is a beautiful comb. It's black, metal tip, simple. So it gets 10 from me. All right, let me hurry up and write this. Packaging, presentation, um, smell, I run out of space, ladies and gentlemen. And we have usefulness. All right. So for the packaging, it got 10 from me. And then for the presentation, now the packaging that it came into, um, I give it a nine just because it says pin tail comb. Pin, pin suggesting metal suggesting small. And this actually look like a pin. So I give them a nine for that. As for the smell, it doesn't have a scent. So it's an automatic 10 there. It didn't smell like any plastic. It didn't smell like um, deep factory. It didn't smell like it would harm me. Didn't smell like burn plastic. 10. As for the usefulness now, honestly, you know what I draw for most times? My regular, regular tail comb. <laughs> the regular one, the black one that I had before. Half the time, I can't find this. Just because the pin, the pin bottom is so small, I tend to see this tail more than I see this tail. So when I find it, I use it. <laughs> so for that, I give it a seven. This is this this was just in the bag, so I just grade it. <laughs> but really and truly, you can't really grade at all. Alright. So 19 plus 17 gives us a combined score of 36. Imagine a tool rated higher than some of these products here. 
And last but not least, we have Pump It Up Spritz. I leave this for last just because, just because. I soon tell you why. So for the spritz now, all right. For the packaging, um, a clear cap came over this, right? A clear cap came over this. So that's, I don't know where the clear cap is because half of the time they get lost anyway. But packaging, the visuals. Had this product not had a good reputation, would you even think to pick this up with this confusing thing? Pink, black, this, this, the, the product itself kind of looks like P in terms of the, what do you call this, orange? This orangish, pinkish color. Let me show you what I'm talking. Would you, let me see it. Let me show you. Would you pick this up just looking at it from head to toe? All right, let me turn it properly. Would you pick this up? Um, cast ham, gaming with kaolin, and shaping with some. Would you pick this up as a hair product just looking at it? Would you pick this up just by looking at it? Would you pick this up? Would you think this is a hair product? I think not. You know what this look like? This look like a body mist. I would pick this up thinking it's a body mist. So because I know that it's a hair product and not a body mist for packaging, for what it's aimed at, I give it a dandy six. I mean, the pink looks good. The um, the black looks good. But mm -mm. pump it up could I give this a nicer packaging. And also, because of the nozzle, because of the potency of this product, the nozzle could have spread out better. For what this is used for, they could have come better with the packaging. Look at that. I could have a smoother spray. So packaging, pump it up. You need to work on the packaging. All right? So as for presentation now, pump it up gold with extra silk, protein, and vitamin D. Styling spritz super hold instantly freezes here in place. Shaping way some says it looks like a goth baby. I think that's an accurate description. Pump it up. You have been a showrunner over the years. You have a very good product, but the packaging, boy, you don't need to step up the packaging for now one year. All right. So for presentation now, as convincing me, I would not know that this is a spritz with all these bold words on it. Look, the first thing that you see is pump it up. The next thing, the next bold word that you see is super hold. So the super hold is the only thing that gives you an indication that it's maybe a holding product. And I get most vibes um, from this than I do um, spritz. Yes, I agree with you, shaping way some. The bottle is too busy. It is it is way too busy. All you need is the word spritz on it. Everybody know what spritz is. And super hole. That's all I needed. With this whole writing, mm -mm. you get another six pump it up. All right. As for the smell, um, it smells like old time jerry curl you know that um that gel that come in the blue bottle back in the day it kind of give me old time salon vibes so that it has a vin vintage smell it has that alcoholic background with a wood smell it kind of smell like cedar not the cedar jamaicans not the cedar that <laughs> that make um that makes sawdust for the chickens to walk on not that kind of cedar. The gentle cedar that you're using, cologne. So it kind of gave me that woody scent with a little bit of alcohol. And if you spray this on your hand, you can, you can feel that alcohol is in it just by the coolness when it's evaporating off the hand or off wherever you spray it. 
All right. So presentation wise, bottle too busy. Mm -mm. All right. For the smell now that I got it a while ago, I give it a seven, seven out of ten. It don't smell too bad, but it don't smell too good either. The only reason why I gave it a seven is because it's not overpowering. Usefulness now. With this product, you either love it or you hate it. But because I want super hole for my hair, I give it a 10. All right? I give it a 10 just because I know what it's meant to do. It's meant to give you a super hold and spritz. Any type of spritz that I use is going to be stiff. So if you don't like hard crunchiness in your hair, this is not for you because I know the purpose of the product. That's why I give it a 10. So it's very useful. I braided my hair maybe seven weeks ago and I pulled it out three weeks ago. So I had some box braids in for a month. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. When I spread this in my hair, uh, maybe every other night and I tied it down, it held. I'll know me here not frizz up. I'll know me here not pull up. And... I bet you if I was to do a perm rod set with this or if I was to have like a sewing in my hair and I curled it and I spread this, this is not move. It's not moving. So when I use this, any type of curl, anything that requires you to hold your hair in place, anything that you want to prevent frizz from getting into your hair or any type of frizz, just know this way to work. So let me give you the combined score. Six and six, 12. 12 and 10 gives us 22. 22 and 7 gives us 31. So this has a combined score of 31. And that, my friends, is the end of the Hair Inspector Awards. Now I'm going to give you who came first. I don't even have to tell them who came first. Um... Yeah, the comb is the one who won <laughs> with a score of 36. Just because, <laughs> I don't know. It's like this comb won by omission. It didn't have any scent, didn't have any, um, didn't have any busy packaging. It won. So less is more when it comes to hair products. So hair brands out there, you take a note. <laughs> All right. Our second runner up is going to be the Ashanti Naturals with a combined score. Where is it? With a combined score of 34 on the hair inspector chart. So believe it or not, a natural product <laughs> came in second. Let me see who type a third place though, because I have multiple products that um, tied for third place. Uh, so third place is going to be between the hair polisher and the CPR, which tied for third place. So the hair polisher and the CPR tied for third place. All right. And that is just by numbers. And an honorable mention would be the bun with bangs and the cantu. So the cantu came in fourth place and the bun with bangs came in fifth place. So, so those are the top five products. All right. So we have six products in the top five, believe it or not. So yes, imagine after all this manufacturing and pack packaging, a comb one <laughs> but in all practicality though um the ashanti naturals one and even though this is a natural product it won based on the packaging and all of that but in terms of all right let's get to the nitty-gritty in terms of the, the the products that went through a whole heap of processing um with multiple ingredients that you can't call the name um the 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 um 
the CPR one, and the hair polisher one. So if I was to throw out the, if I was to throw the, the comb and throw the shea butter, in reality, these pro these two products were the one um were the ones that would come first. Because really and truly, the hair inspector awards is about products like these, not so much about about the natural one. Because you can't really beat what nature gives you, right? And that is the end of the Hair Inspector Awards. Um, Castle Ham says, I would think twice. The name suggests, the name is suggestive of something else. And I agree, the label has nice colors, but it's too busy. I will assume that you're talking about the Pump It Up Spritz. And that is so right. The Pump It Up um when i think of pump it up i think out of a i think um of a workout program and if you want to pump it up with the dumb with the dumbbells and weights and kettlebells and all of those stuff all of those things go over to shaping way some and join her on sunrise movements in the morning shaping way some what time um sunrise movement starting tomorrow Tell me what time sunrise movement starting tomorrow. So if you if you think about pump it up, it is some suggestive of um something else, and it is also suggestive of exercise. So me don't know what they need to think about when they ended up um make this. And shaping way some says everything else has 33 for third. Yes, <laughs> yes, it does. How ironic. 33 and they came third. <laughs> that is ironic indeed. Um, if you have any products that you want me to buy, I mean, some persons are going to, to, to catch this live afterwards and some persons are actually here on the live. If you have any hair product at all that you want me to review, and I will make this a mini series. I think I'm gonna make this a mini series. Um, I just tried it out live. If you have any hair product um in Jamaica that you know is available and you don't want to spend your money, you can let me know and I will buy it and review it for you and tell you what I think. And just remember that I have type four hair, so it's gonna be different than somebody who, who has a silky hair type. I won't even say straight, I say silky. Because my hair is very absorbent and it reacts differently to products. But even if you even if you have a different hair type like um than mine and you just want to know about the product, just tell me and I will buy it and review it for you. All right. So thank you, Shaping Way Some. Thank you, Gaming with Kaylin, and thank you, Castleham, for joining me live this evening for the Hair Inspector Awards. And Oh, Shaping Way Some says sunrise movement starts at 5.30 a.m. Eastern time. So join Shaping Way Some for the exercise. And she, excuse me, <laughs> she is on a journey to losing 100 pounds. And I think she gone maybe a little bit over half, maybe in the 60 brackets. Um, get the update from her. Ask her all the questions you want to ask her when she goes live with sun, sunrise movements that starts tomorrow at 5.30 Eastern time. Remember, it's a live, you know, so you can ask her any question weight related that you want to know. And she has used different strategies and um, oh, Virginia Gale is here. Hi, <laughs> welcome. I didn't see a comment, you know. Oh, welcome, Virginia Gale. Welcome to the live. Yes. So um, I was saying that um, join Shaping Way some tomorrow morning at 5.30. If you're lazy, get up. If you're lazy, get up out of your bed. All right? So join Shaping Way some tomorrow with the exercising. And... It's bye from the Blue Blast channel. See you again next time. Bye. Thank you for joining.